Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Insurgents. Last episode, we battled the Agor and he was actually pretty tough, had a Rayquaza, or well, a Mega Rayquaza, but luckily Lilith, Ice Beam, four times effective, destroyed him. And then Damien came and saved the day and destroyed the crystal that was emitting all this energy. But the Agor has got a third of the, the shards of the crystal back and then we've got the Perfection Cult who found a shard and the Abyssal Cult who also found a shard which is not good. we also got a Delta Lotad which we then evolved into Lombre and you guys told me if I went back to Helio City, go to the Department Store we can buy a Water Stone which I have done. So we're going to evolve our Lombre right now and get a Delta Ludicolo. Oh man I'm so excited. What's it going to look like? Please be cool, please be cool, please be cool. Oh, that looks awesome! Is he electrotoxic? He's got like lightning come out of his hands? What type is it? He looks sweet, dude. I'm actually liking that. It's like a water still, but that looks really awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Actually, so cool. Okay, in today's episode, we're going to explore this town and go through the library. Pretty sure an event might happen in the library, but I know we can get a Delta Pokemon in the library, and you guys tell me how to get it. And we're going to make sure we uh, get that bad. But before we talk to everyone, let's make sure I've got some balls for later on. I have, yeah, I have plenty of balls. It's fine. I've seven Ultra Balls. I can't get any seven Ultra Balls, and I don't deserve to get it. But I think you guys said as well to make sure I get a certain ability on it. But okay. Uh... Oh, okay. Sweet. Uh, did you hear the news? I didn't. The Agor rescued the poor man from the Rezai cavern in the desert. How horrible. So glad we have people like Jean fighting against the Sky Cult. Ugh. The Agor man. Yo, I heard that the gym leader in Kepler City has a laboratory with all sorts of appliances. Ovens, washing machines, lawn mowers, the whole lot. That's if you got a Rotom and you want to get different form, I, I suppose. Yo. I take care of the small berry bush in... I think it's... Utara Town? I have no idea, man. Some of these town names. It's like... <laughs> Ooh, free berries, though. Appreciate that. Uh, what's this sign say? Well, oh, statue. Statue of Pokeball. The text reads, This statue is dedicated to King Viserun, who is cred uh, credited with inventing an ancient version of Pokeball hundreds of years ago. I mean, there's one person to worship as the person who made the Pokeball, right? Surely. You look, uh, really familiar. Have I seen you on TV somewhere before? Can't quite place it. I guess you just have one of those faces. Well, actually, I've been on TV. That reminds me, they have not rang me yet. If you want to trade a uh, Jilba for any Pokemon. Is that a Delta Jilba? I haven't got a Dragon Pokemon on. No, I haven't. I should really go back to the desert catch another Vibrava, but... If that's a Delta Jilba, let me know. Because sometimes I feel like that's going to be normal standard Pokemon. But we want that Delta Pokemon. I'll try to get them all. Uh, let's see what else we got around here. Okay, so I guess after the event we want to head south. Look at those two controlling their Pokemon. They're clearly expert trainers. Wish I could battle uh, battle that well someday. One day you might, my friend. One day you might. Back when I was in college, I was in the graduating class with Ryukra and Professor Sylvan. Those two were super smart. It's no wonder they became so close. Kind of bad, man. They're like very successful, out making tons of money. You're just in the house sharing with two other people, okay. Um, could you do me a favor? I've been searching through the library for ages, but I couldn't find the book I was looking for anywhere. It's about moonlight and healing moves. If you could find it for me, I could give you something in return. Okay, we've got to find that. But here's something about a room, I want to double check that. You know the prophecy about the Toron region that everyone talks about? I had a rumor that it was written in the Ultra Library. There's an orb in the abandoned wing that some people think have to do with it, but I uh, don't believe them. Rumors are just rumors, okay. Just double checking, ooh. Got a normal gem, yeah, yeah. I feel really bad. These trainers probably put their item on their Pokemon, thinking, "Okay, we're next get into a battle, but Slugma for anything." Okay, we can do that. We can do that. It could be a Delta Slugma. That that could be pretty awesome. But like, yeah, these people probably go, "Oh, I'm gonna put this uh, normal gem on my Skitty for when I next get into a battle, and I'm prepared." And then I just come to the house like, "Yo, Skitty, give me that normal gem. It's mine now." <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. All right, move Pokemon. Let's uh, okay. give him a Ducklet. Ducklet's amazing. Looks so cool. Ducklet needs more love. 100%. Oh, 
But I know the type of the next Delta Pokemon we're going to get on the team. So I think we might replace Snorlax. Wait. I think that's not surely got the Pokemon leave, shouldn't I? Uh, oh, it's not even on the team, so I can't do it now. Oops. So there's a Fire Breather dude who wants to trade his uh, Slugma for anything. So you can take a Ducklet. Oh, come on, be a Delta Slugma. Be cool, man. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's a normal Slugma. No. Disappointing. Ah, <laughs> so many lazy people in this town. They won't go to the library themselves, but they hire people to find books for them. Lazy! It's easy money, though. <laughs> Markins don't detail the life of the Tor- Oh, that makes me still upset he died. Oh, man. Rest in peace, dude. Wishes him a sweet and peaceful rest. <sighs> very, very upset. I think that happened, like, last year? Was it last year? Last August. Yeah, it's just over a year. And I can remember the time like, I was playing um, H1Z with one of my friends and then checked Twitter, I was like, oh man, and I just got really sad and stopped playing. Had a tough time, man. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have uh, Johto in, no, it's not Johto, Kanto in gold and silver. <sighs> anyway, did I come through here? Yes, yeah, so I came through Cave of Steam. We're looking for the library. Uh, talk to everyone. Some people may want to trade Pokemon or offer items. Well, have been talking to everyone, so it's always good. So now I guess we're trying to head to the library and we can do the quest here. Actually, I want to talk to these two people. You look like you might give me something. Young people like you should spend more time in the library. Your brain is still growing. Learn why you still can. I'd like to give you a gift. Ooh, Max Revolve. Ooh, thank you very much. And that is very good. I'm going to have a house. Have you ever seen the races in Sonata City? Favourite to win is Rapidash this year, I think. I'm going to bet on Grimer. Love supporting the under uh, sludge. <laughs> oh man. I remember last time I did the uh, the race in the beta before, it crashed my game, but I'm sure that would have fixed it. That was like two years ago, but I'm going to definitely give it another go. Okay, I'm trying to train up my fighting type team. I'm trying to decide on the best moveset for them. There's a book in the library called The Fighting Compendium. That could help, but I haven't been able to find it. So we're looking for the fighting compendium in the Moonlight book to give to uh, these two people. And I wonder what we get for it. Okay, library time. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, hey Voltsy, I'm so glad you made it. Welcome to the Itara town. It's a beautiful place. Nora, Voltsy's finally here. Hey, what up girl? Voltsy, I'm, I'm glad to see you. Heard about what happened at the Jade Tower? That's horrific. It's hard to believe that the Agor was really the leader of the Sky Cult all along. If anything, though, that just makes uh, what we're doing uh, here even more important. Remember a while ago, when we first met, I told you about some ancient prophecy about the Pixies? This right here is the library. It has the biggest collection of books in the region. I figured that if anyone, uh, any one place could have information on, or even have, that prophecy, it would be here. Damien and I are skimming through the shelves, trying to find information. Appreciate it if you could help us out. But first, you and I... Oh, hey, wait, uh, you said I could go first. <sighs> Damien and I both have Mega Rings and Mega Revolutions on our team now. I want to test my team against yours, so does Damien, though. And we shouldn't waste too much time. When do you pick? We're rivals, after all. Should try to uh, keep each other on our toes. Well, I reckon Damien's going to have Mega Eevee. I don't know what Mega Nora's going to have. I can't remember her team, so we'll go for Nora. Ha, <laughs> told you to rather battle me. Let's get started, then. You're going to uh, see the true power of Mega Evolution. Alrighty then, I'm so ready. Dual Blade, ooh, okay. Uh, Mega Evolve Flare Blitz. Mega Eevee! Looking super powerful. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Iron Head. Can eat that up. Oh yeah, you guys as well told me, I didn't even realise this, that last episode when we battled um, Rayquaza, you know, for Dragon the Center went to Eevee, well, went to Sylveon. I thought, how can that affected me? I thought Dragon Ascent was Dragon type, because obviously Dragon Ascent to me sounds Dragon, but it's actually Flying type, which I was like, what? No way! I wouldn't have, uh, have guessed that. I mean, the only time I've ever used Dragon Ascent was when you, when you had to use it against Deoxys and uh, Auras for the, uh, the post game, the Delta episode. That's the only time I've ever used Rayquaza. Well, you know, Mega Rayquaza and 
Dragon Ascent. Ah, oh, recoil. But took out Celipes, as uh, Celipe, Celebi, so I can't complain. Uh, let's try our new Ludic Colo out. Backsprite looks really detailed. Ooh. Uh, let's just go for a Whirlpool. Got Mega Flygon. Oh. Oh damn, that's looking good. That looks so powerful. Okay, okay, this is gonna be tough. I think it's Bug Dragon now, isn't it? Ice Beam should still do damage. Dragon Rush missed. Thank God for that. Woo! Another Ice Beam. We're gonna probably die by Bug Buzz. Critical hit. You got lucky, dude. You got lucky. It's fine. I can pick you out, and then we'll win. Yeah. Mega Flygon looking powerful though, and Nora's actually pretty tough. I need to do some grinding at some point. Uh, let's go for a Shadow Punch. Ouch, no, Shadow Punch should finish it off. One more Pokemon left. Levani. Uh, I think Shadow Punch might do a bit more. Yeah, more of a physical critical hit. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, fine. Almost got this. Let's go, Hurricane! Gonna rock you like a hurricane! Yeah! That life orb makes a difference, but still good. How are you always beating me? Because I'm the best, baby. Oh, for Jean's sake. Can't believe I lost again. How'd you keep beating me? Anyways, Demon and I are going to head back and uh, to keep searching. Read that completely weird then. If you could help out, we would uh, really appreciate it. Let us know if you find anything interesting. She comes across very strong, doesn't she? She doesn't even do any work. She's left it all to me. While I've been searching, she's uh, been sitting around reading books on ancient Unovan uh, languages. All things. She'd probably go back in. If you could uh, help out, we'd appreciate it. Oh, I nearly forgot. I found this on my uh, coat after I got kidnapped back in Vipic City. It's just a hair, but it's uh, from one of the Abyssal Cultists. Not sure it'll be useful to you, but Muse needs DNA to transform, right? Oh. Sweet, thanks, I guess. Anyways, come give us a hand. After I heal up. Oh, man. I am reading all weird today. I do apologize. I was up all night playing, uh... Lots of, uh, lots of betas and alphas. Dauntless, World War II. Just downloaded Obsidian, and that's been very good. Very good. Okay, I'm Zachary, the librarian here. Made it my goal, my goal in life to instill the love and joy of reading in young kids. If you need any help, let me know. Right. Now the problem is, I need to find three, well, two books, no. We're looking for uh, Fighting Something and Moonlight Something. Grapes of Polyrath. <laughs> uh, different one. Religious Freedom in Torin? No, I'm good. Different one. <laughs> Love and Time at Charmander. Slav to two, two books. Two books. Now a dog trio. Yes, please. This sounds pretty good. Many experiments have been done in order to truly understand what goes on in Diglett and Dogtrio beneath, to the, beneath the surface. Compiled below is a list of information known about the body parts of Diglett and Dogtrio below the ground. Oh, it ended? Damn book. The only book I actually wanted to read, but 100 years of Geodude. <laughs> uh, the girl with the dragon knight tattoo. <laughs> oh, the girl with the dragon tattoo. I still need to watch that film. There's a book, but I don't want to read the book. I watch a film. So I'm trying to think, like, I think it's a lot of these, like, famous books, I think 100, I, in my head, I 100 years of summer. But I don't think that's right. And then... I don't, I don't read many books, obviously, but this is manga, but not since I uh, left university. I don't read many books nowadays because I've got video games. Video games and movies. Good night, Lunatone. That's not the one we're after. American. Because American Psycho. <laughs> American Psyduck. Who was the first Pokemon trainer? Yes, please, actually. Experts and historians often uh, disagree as to who the very first Pokemon trainer was. Due to a difference in definitions, some define a trainer as someone who used Pokeballs to capture and train Pokemon, whereas some define it as someone who, was, who has any control over all Pokemon at all. 
Most people agree that the very first person to train a Pokemon for use in combat was King Viserun, who controlled the majority of the medieval wo uh, world. However, some people don't believe the era of Pokemon trainers began until the common use of the Pokeball, or which Agatha of Kanto oh, was the first major user. That's pretty cool. Healing in you. That's not the one. It was, like moon it was definitely Moonlight, she said, or something like that. I got Swagger. Okay. Uh, Arceus and Giratina. Oh my god, so many books. The Bugsy Scandal. Uh, the Fault in the Stars. The Rarest Pokeballs. That sounds cool. Very Hungry Caterpie. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite. Uh, like. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Look at the paintings. The eyes. Folia. Oh, yeah, very Hungry Caterpie. I'm like. That's a statue of Oak. An elm. Again, yeah, stretch of my favorite book growing up, but. Well, when I was a kid. Very young kid. Criticism of, the, criticism of the second of Gore. Oh, it's been ripped out. Of course it has. Uh, intro to Entry Hazard by Cindy. Don't know who Cindy is, but I kind of feel like I should know. Fashion. I'm off with just three books. Well, two books and then one uh, out the way, kid. New Moon Guide. Is that the one? No. Guess not. So if it isn't very interested in me just going for all the books, but we need to find the two books for the side quest. The Great Ghastly. Just after the uh, Delta Pokemon as well, but go to Battle and Pass. Where the wild Pokemon are. <laughs> oh, some of these names are great. The Catcher and the Raichu. <laughs> Adventures of Shuckleberry Finn. <laughs> oh man. Rain teams and you. Jaden, I don't know that one. Team building basics by Eric. Video games. Yes, please. There are many popular video games in the world, but none so popular than the game Humans. This is based on, off of real life, but with the difference of not having Pokemon in the world. It's commonly classified as a ultra horror of depressing game. It is most definitely not recommended to be played. Go play outside with your Pokemon instead. Yeah, man. The Rapidash of Courage. I'm. Oh no, I'm thinking of uh, Sea Biscuit, Secret Life of Combies. Oh. Oh. That ain't good. Watch with Giratina. Second Fort, better not touch this one. Okay, for me, I thought that could be the uh, Delta Pokemon then, but. Books seem to revolve around the backstories of. Prominent ghost type Pokemon such as Chandler, Drifloon, and Burnett. So it's written entirely in Latin, wonder why. Oh, what's that? Oh, new moon. What is that? New TM. The sky darkens to night, increasing the power of. Oh, I remember that. I'm pretty sure that field effect is the ability of um, Delta Charizard, isn't it? Makes the. Uh, you know, area dark, so dark type attacks do more damage. Oh, and how does someone dark ray? Let's hope uh, Persephone doesn't see this one. Yeah, definitely. Dubbed anime and why it is bad as you might. Dubbed anime and why it isn't as bad as you might think. Like some dubbed, like, it really depends for me. Like, don't know about you guys, but a dubbed anime and a subbed anime, like, it, it really depends how one how far the anime is. Like, if I want to watch it. And then two, how good the dub and sub are. Like, if the dub's good, I don't mind it. I will watch it dubbed, but I don't like the dub I'll watch. So, like, Fairy Tale, Fairy Anime, I cannot stand the dub. I think the voices are just, eh. But the sub, love it. Whereas I look at, like, um... Oh, this is the book we need, actually. Uh... Wait, that's the book I need in the Fine Compendium. How do I take it? I don't know... What I need to do, but uh, to get that book. Trying to do an anime like I had to watch in uh, English. Like, well, I like, saw that online. I've watched that in Japanese and English. Blue Exorcist, English and uh, Japanese. Oh. Is this the Delta Pokemon here? Hopefully. There it is. That's the Delta Pokemon we're going to get. This is it. Let's quickly save it. Like, for example, Naruto. Uh, I watched all of one, and I know Shippuden's still getting dubbed, but I've, I honestly thought after. 600 episodes, it would take me longer than that, but it took me two months, but 
I've been watching uh, Shibuden in English, and I, I know a lot of people don't like it in English, but I don't mind it. I think it's alright. There's some voices that I'm like, not 100% on, but not too bad. Like, Kakashi is pretty cool. Uh, I love Jiraiya's voice actor as well. But dude, only level 10. It's going to be a pain in the butt to uh, train up, but I can get done with the uh, secret base. Now, it's got to have a certain ability. I think someone said Shadow shadow Cloak, something like that. So we'll see. Delta Species is discovered by Loft the Four Rock, Rocket Brothers. Okay, Rocket Bros. And Echo the Third. It hides itself from the sun during the day and stares lonely at the moon at night. And I think someone said as well to evolve this, because um, obviously I think it's got to be friendship to get Roselia, then you got to level up at night time for Rose Raid, or maybe it's got to be leveled up with max happiness at night time, which is going to be like, yay. Uh, do Shadow Cloak, I can't like the name like Shadow Cloak. I'm just going to be a Shadow, I don't know, I kind of kind of like that. Please have the ability we need. Not sure if it's a big deal, but we're not going to know until we get back to uh, the PC. But there's the Delta Pokemon we wanted, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, this whole episode is mainly me just reading book covers. And I do apologize. I assume we have to find like the certain book... Um, for the prophecy. Or well, something must happen in here. These are got the Delta Pokemon, that's what I was most worried about, like trying to find it. But it's a lot easier than I thought. So now we go through here. Is there more, is more to the right? Have I been through? I'm sure I've been through this way. Uh, it keeps going right. Oh, door is locked. Bannon Wing, keep out. Oh. Abandoned wing? Nice find, Voltsy. This must this might just be where the prophecy is stored. I agree. Nobody knows the prophecy except for the leaders of the cults. It would have to be uh, hidden somewhere. Most people wouldn't look. Ho 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 ho! Are you free going to the abandoned wing? May I ask, uh, what about it interests you? Oh, we are going to look for a very old book, sir. We're trainers, you see. We want to uh, protect the region. We figured that the, that one prophecy about the cults might be back here. I see. You'd be surprised at how many people have looked for that prophecy. Ah, <sighs> tourists. I'll let you in if you want. There's no prophecy back there, but that's, but there's uh, that one glowing orb. An orb? What do you mean? That's right. It's been there since this library was built. It's only uh, one of many uh, different odds and ends lying around in the wing. For whatever reason, people believe it has something to do with the prophecy. So they try to uh, get it to react to them. I've already seen hundreds of people uh, leave disappointed. Do you want to waste your time? Well, we might as well try, right? Demon, for once in your life, you're right. Oh, damn. Let us in, please. I promise we'll be quick. Fine, but we really need to uh, be fast. A lot of things to do today. All right, it's unlocked. The glowing orb is in the far end of the abandoned wing. I'll take you go see it. Be careful, though. There are both wild Pokemon and possibly even trainers back here. Why, why have you locked trainers in there? Let's go see what the future holds. I'm going to pop a uh, repel actually. And fight all the trainers. Yo! You shouldn't be back here. Well, I've got permission, so it's fine. Uh, hydro pump. Oh, we missed. It's fine. And you burnt me, of course you burnt me. Lucky. A level 41, Spirit Tomb. Go for a nice Moonblast. Make it Eevee is so good. So if they got like some get rid of the burn, that would be perfect. Uh, so I get rid of the burn. Burn heal, that would do. And any like potions. Yeah, I got a few. Try getting on level 50, so I'll get you a 50 first. Why are there statues of oak? 
and Elm as well. Elm of all people. Uh, Mega Evolve, why not? No reason not to, and... Boom Blast! Doesn't look too much to be fair. Always oh, part poison, isn't it? That makes sense, got a Hydro Pump. There you go. It's better. For a split second I forgot Gengar was part poison! Yeah! Don't like the creepy music. Let's go back to this one to fight the trainer. And there might be an item down there. And yep. We can go back left though. See where that leads. Come on, land the hydro pump. Triplim, go into Lilith. Go for a nice shock weave. Right, one more. There we go. Do 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 do. So just more trainer than here. Oh no, maybe this guy. Okay. Oh, that's not the, okay. We came for that way. My bad. Thought it was like a um. We came a bit higher up. Got that escape rope. Nice. Are we all here? You see that glow over in the back? That's the orb that supposedly has to do with the prophecy. Seems like a little rubbish, in my opinion. Doubt there even was a prophecy. It's probably just a legend. But anyways, go ahead. Get this over with. Who dares wake me? What was that? Well, what's happening? This, this has never happened before. It's so good to be awake again. Who do we have here? House guests? If you're after the prophecy, you'll need to work harder than that. That's right, I'm the one who wrote it long ago. But you're dead wrong if you think I'll just tell you. I was a prophet of Arceus and the Oracle of Delphox. Uh, I've been preaching since before Hoenn was created. If you want to know the secret of the future, you have to take it by force. Alright, ghost man, let's go. Oh, he looks sweet though. Okay, uh, hydro pump. Oh, we got no more hydro pump. Uh, let's go for return. I wonder what that does. Let's make it EV. Never mind. <laughs> uh, let's go Lilith, ice beam it. Glad I live out speed that I really am. Uh, Delphox. Delphox, Delphox, Delphox. Let's go into Sandman. And then we'll go for a nice earthquake. So I'm going to get everyone level 50 for next episode, I think. I think that'll be a good idea. Just if, if episode 50 is delayed next episode, just by like a day or. Well, I'm going to say two. By a day, just know that I'm grinding that Badoo up. Grind up so much. Usually I'm pretty, pretty decent at trying to level up on time. Just that's, that's 40 levels right there I've got to do for Badoo. And Banette, I'm we'll stay in. Just keep spam- Oh, you're Mega Banette! Not good. It's actually fine, you can't- Oh, the only thing you can do is suck, say, suck a punch me or anything like that. Because I am uh, I'm immune to ghost type moves. Soul's too strong. Now let's go for Nuzzle. Paralyze you, and then we'll start to unleash some shock waves. Nice. He's a slash. Uh, I can probably stay in. Uh, Sam, it doesn't have level tickets. No, it does. Earthquake. Ooh, that's close. 
Hey, level 45, he's getting there. Huh, not bad. Alright, I'll spill the beans. This prophecy has been misunderstood many, many times. Even the cult leaders have never heard the correct version. Wait, so they don't they don't know what the real prophecy says? That's right. We're gonna read uh, to you the entire thing. It's a terrible poem that's easy to uh, misinterpret. I don't want to be that oracle, you know. Hope you're ready. <clears throat> the first thing predicted was the emergence of a hero, chosen by a legendary Pokemon. Secondly, this hero will succeed undefeated in Tauren, then move on victorious. The last secret piece of information is that in the end the hero will join the infernal cult and betray their friends. That's basic- wait what? One of us is going to join the infernal cult? Yeah what? You can't leave us up with that. Who's the hero? How can we stop that from happening? You can't avoid fate, Nora. Well, you can't say he doesn't have a fair or flair for the dramatic. This reminds me uh, what author L. Frank Baum did when introducing... Oh, stop it. How can you say st stay so calm? We're, we were just told one of us is a traitor. This isn't the time to joke around. Well, we did say that you'll save the region, right? I'm a librarian, as prophecies go. I've heard far worse. Plus, nobody knows about this, right? You can use that to your advantage. Anyways, people are probably waiting for me at the front desk, so you need to head back. Let me know if you need any, uh, any more help with, uh, well, whatever, with whatever library stuff I can help with. See you around, heroes! <laughs> Nora, listen, don't panic about this, okay? Don't panic! Damien, we just got told that we were going to lose. Worrying about this isn't going to help. We need to work together if we're going to uh, let this... If, this, if we're going to uh, let this make us turn on each other. Okay, there you go. Can't even read today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we uh, might as well just give up now. Oh, criticizing me already, Damien. You know, if I were an infernal cultist in disguise, I wouldn't draw attention to myself. But of course, you wouldn't know anything about that. Or about tact, would you? I mean, I guess that says that, but... Not Mr. I ran my mouth in front of cultists and got kidnapped in a garbage dump. Nora, please stop. You know what I think, Damien? I think your stepmother was right about you. Oh! Damn! I'm gonna go now. I'll see you in Sonata City, Voltsy. There's a gym there. And we're needed to bash in order to, uh, in order to dive. She's gonna... I bet it's gonna be Damien who joins the Infernal Cult. It's gonna be her, like, pushing him towards it. Why did I say all of that? I don't know what came over me. I feel awful. I'm gonna go apologize. Really hope I didn't hurt him. Can't lose somebody else. Damien, wait up! Alright. Well. I'm gonna end this part here. Next episode... We will head south, I guess, to Sonata City and get the fourth gym badge. And we shall have, hopefully, a Rose Raid. Maybe maybe a Roselia, I don't know. Um, uh, grinding up against the the trainers in the special one secret base. I doubt will boost my happiness that fast. So I might still have like a level 40 Badoo. Hopefully not, but I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day.